brothers and sisters in Christ. Hello, friends and all the devotees of Saint Anne and Mother Rosa, our blessed foundress. Today let's talk about the relationship between God and man, the spouse of confidence. By the way, we are now on the seventeenth day of our month of Saint Anne, and we continue to do our reflections and prayers as we prepare our hearts for the feast of Saint Anne and Saint Joachim. We ask their intercession so that we can understand the message of salvation for us and for the entire humanity. So, the relationship with life is not full as long as man is alone. For it to be fully realized, it needs to open up to the other. It needs to enter into communion with others. It needs to recognize their diversity and welcome it. It needs to enter into an affectionate relationship with God, an indispensable condition for this possible communion covenant with Him. Man cannot live alone, or man should not be alone. From Adam's leap, the woman was born. From the torpor of Abraham, communion with God. After sin, the reproposed communion will entail a pain path, a painful path for man, which only a faithful remnant will bring to an end. But only God will guarantee that communion now. Let's take a suggested reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verses 18 to 23. Let's take some lines here. Yahweh God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate. So from the soil, Yahweh God fashioned all the wild beasts and all the birds of heaven. These he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven, and all the wild beasts. But no helpmate suitable for man was found for him. So Yahweh God made the man fall into a deep sleep, and while he slept, he took one of the ribs and enclosed it in flesh. Yahweh God built the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. The man exclaimed, This at last is bone from my bones and flesh from my flesh. This is to be called woman, for this was taken from man. The covenant is essentially liberation and communion, participation in the blessed eternity with God. And also Mother Rosa has expressed her experience with this uh, message of salvation, seeing the beauty of paradise. Mother Rosa could not describe it as beautiful. So Mother Rosa was aware of her humanity, at the same time aware of the blessing and the offering of the paradise. So Mother Rosa states in this way, My love, yes, I am ignorant and able to find sentences that you that are valid for making a correct narration. But what? What kind of human pen should I use to be to best describe the paradise? With your help, my love, I will put something on this card. At half past three, I felt a strong breathlessness coming, and something made me feel the rapture. Let us pray. God of the covenant, God of faithfulness, you have given us the image of paradise with the figure of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for your message of love. And we ask you ardently to accompany us, to mold us always, to form, up, uh, to form us always, to be your faithful 
disciples and faithful followers of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.